What's the chat channel? Santa Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Gold 97 Reforged Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the ship captain in Sunport Point Docks. And we stopped Team Rocket from whatever they were doing with the ship. But it seems like they were all ready to ship out anyway. So, whatever they're up to, we'll catch up with them later on. Today, we are heading on to Route 104, Route, Route 105 actually, on our way to the Jade Forest, because uh, that is where the next, well, that is where the next progression is. We need to get to the Jade Forest, because the, the next gym is in Ahoy City. Ahoy City, that's where the next gym is, and that's where we need to get to. So that is the plan to get to there today. We might, we'll just probably get to the Jade Forest and maybe even get through the Jade Forest. Oh yes, the gardener that wouldn't let me go in his garden. Hello, Mr. Gardener. You know, I really uh, love talking about my god, taking care of my garden. It's so dry around here. Well, yeah, you're in a desert. I work really hard to make my flowers grow. Recently, I was able to get a berry tree in the back. Here, uh, let me uh, share some of its fruit with you. A pasture berry, thank you. Maybe one day I'll be able to get two trees on the go. Maybe, but thank you very much for that. I will very much take a pasture berry from you. Especially since I can't actually access your... Uh... Can I access... I think I'd have to go the other way around to access your berry tree. Yeah, I'd have to go. There's a there's a way back there. I don't know exactly how to get back there, but there's a way back there. I'm sure. I am very sure there is a way to get back there, but we're not going to deal with that today. Today we are taking on all the routes towards... Oh, that's a Murkrow! The actual... It honestly looks like he's got a little uh, little wizard's hat on. That's really cool. I love Gold 97's Murkrow design. Hey, mate. Danger looks at night. Ah, uh, yes it does, policeman. Very much so. That's why we don't usually go out at night. Oh, you have a tiny little Growlithe! You have a pippy paw! That's what that is, it's tiny little Growlithe! I feel almost sorry for making the ground shake in front of tiny little Growlithe and making you fall in it! Sorry Growlithe! Sorry tiny little Growlithe! And then actual Growlithe! Not as cute as tiny little Growlithe, but still kinda cute! Always very cute, this Growlithe. And I am sorry that I made the ground shake and throw you in it. I'm ready for danger that works at night. You know, nighttime is fun in its own ways. But don't overdo it, okay? Now, I will try not to. I will very much try not to, but I can't promise anything, officer very much cannot promise anything. What do you got for me? Coughing. Okay, coughing. I can handle co Well, Bart can handle coughing. Not everyone on my team can handle coughing, but Bart can handle coughing, that's for sure. Beautiful. And a Volpex. Easy. Since Bart has the ability to make the ground shake, this is absolutely easy. Fire, poison, anything that doesn't have levitate. Boom. If it's weak to Bart, it's to getting destroyed by Bart. Ah, I see. That's how we get around the back. Okay. Damn it, you saw me. What you got for me? 
Super Nerd Sam. I mean, it's a it's a poison type. Bart's got this. Like Bart is like the best Pokemon on this team. I so love Sand Slash. By the way, if anyone says we should make any changes, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below what those changes should be. I've had a suggestion to bring uh, Coruscant onto the team, uh, well, Coruscant and Anchorage onto the team, and I've been looking at the movesets uh, uh, to allow for this, because I do have a document if I can, uh, from the original Gold 97 version of this, uh, of this ROM. Oh, I have, ac I have access to that, and it does allow me to uh, figure out whether what mons are. If I can remember what their original name in Gold 97 was, then I can figure out like what the moves they learn and stuff like that, and whether they'd be a useful, uh, useful idea to have on the team or not. Because like I don't remember every mon that was part of the original games. It's a long walk to get this far, but there's still a way to go to a hoy city. Jade Forest is a maze. I need to make sure I'm ready. Well, it's a long way back. As much as it's a long way there, it's also a long way back, so if you're not ready, then, you know, time to turn around is now. Uh, do I, I don't have a Flaffy. This is a new mon. I don't have a Flaffy or a Mareep Sheep. This is a new mon. Oh, I want to bring in Peckers, but if I bring in Peckers, it could really hurt Peckers. Flaffy can really hurt Peckers, because he's got electrical attacks. So, I don't know about that. Yeah, see, that would hurt. That was a crit and a paralysis. Like, are you trying to kill off a mon so you have a spot on the team? Because it, I don't like that. You know, crit paralysis is not cool. Very much not cool. Stop trying to kill my mons to try and assure yourself a spot on the team. Because it doesn't work like that. I'll put you in the box quicker than you could say, uh, than, quicker than you could spell the word box. I'm not okay with you trying to kill off a mon just so you have a spot on the team, Flaffy. Yeah, I'm already paralyzed. You can't paralyze me anymore. I mean, if you can use takedown and cotton spore, then. I might be okay. I might be okay. I honestly might be okay. Okay, you're in the red. I'm gonna attempt this. This might be a bad idea and might end the uh, Packer's life. Peckers needs to do is get off a hypnosis. And he does. Alright, come on. You can do this. There we go. Two. Lantern Joe. Yes! And there has to be only one nickname for this Pokemon. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. He is absolutely amazing. They are absolutely amazing. It is the one, the only. It's Power Cut. Power Cut the Amperos is back. I have used I have used Amperos on so many different teams in the past. I've always called it Power Cut, or that one time I called it Lava, uh, but Power Cut is the name, and Power Cut is, is amazing, honestly. I have loved Amperos for a while, so Power Cut the Amperos is a Lantern Joe legend. 
I am very much interested in using that. But then again... There are so many good mods in this game that I would definitely mind not use, uh, definitely not mind using as well. So there are definitely some good mods here, and Power Cut the Emperor is going to be one of them. I swear that one's going to be good. So, Sorry about the very fast car going past. I do have my uh, curtains open today because, you know, it's beautiful. It's summer. It's beautiful out there. I want some natural light instead of my camera light uh, today. But it also means car. There's people being loud and all that other stuff because, you know, you hear it. Curtains do pretty good at venting out outside noise, but sadly... Outside is outside, and I don't like being outside. I like being inside. I'm an inside person. But you have to deal with it. One more strength should kill this. If I can get it. Whoa, 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 Yeah, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch. George, get on in here, please. Ow! Hyperfang does so much damage! Thank you, Jumper. You know, the people who say I should bin Jumper, uh, they're, they're wrong. <laughs> they're very wrong. Because Jumper just saved, uh, Jumper just saved Bart and George's life there. Uh, there, do I have... I have push. I have yeah. I got paralyzed, Barry. I got paralyzed heal. I got a paralyzed heal. I got. I got potions. I'm fine. Yeah, you know what? I'll give Peck. I'll give you a potion too, Packers. So it seems like a waste of a po uh, lemonade there, but like, I need to keep you alive. Route 105, Jade Forest just ahead. Okay. What is up here? Because this is like a maze. And it's to a poison stone. What the hell is a poison stone? Is that another... Is that another, like, one of those uh, special gold 97 sort of, like, evolution stones? Because that's cool if there is. Yeah, I'm very interested in finding out what the hell evolves from a poison stone. Are you a mo Are you a trainer? I'm tired. I don't want to walk anymore. I wish I had a Pokemon that could fly me to another... You and me both. You and me both. No, oh, there's nothing there. I think I already got the thing I was there. Hiya. I'm a, a traveling sales doll salesperson. What does that mean? Uh, it means I... It means exactly what I just said. I can buy you dogs. And I don't want dogs. I don't want dogs. Go away with your traveling dogs. Uh, oh, there is a Pokemon Center here. That's good. Because it's so far away from actually where I need to be. 
I'm glad there's a Pokemon Center out here. You know, they're so far away from the nearest city, so I'm glad there's a Pokemon Center out here. What should I uh, make my Pokemon hold? Maybe something that increases their attack power? Yes. Are you good to do that? It's actually really good as Pokemon Center here. You. You're not a Pokemon. It. You're a battle. Okay. Let's battle you then. Oh, it's a tiny little fledgling. It's a fledgling. But it has a big bad dog. No, I mean, Han. Wow. Okay. That's that's a smart trainer. A smart trainer who knows when to switch out. You don't see that that often. Like you do not see this. This is a fit. This is a rare thing. You don't see NPC trainers switch out often, and it's very interesting when it happens. And the hound out. Yeah, well, you already know the hound out. Surf to get rid of that. Bring them the waves, splash them down, bye bye. Level 29, not bad, Jumper. You're a good trainer. You'll get there. You'll, s you'll slowly get there because, like, that is. Interesting how you decided to switch out. Okay, so this is the Jade Forest. Again, you encounter here. Please be a good grass type. It's a weeping bell. And I know Weeping Bell evolves into a new Gold 97 Mon other than Victory Bell. If, I think it might be with either the Sunstone or the Poison Stone. I don't know whether it's which one it is, but I know that Weeping Bell evolves into something amazing. So yeah, definitely thinking Weeping Bell is definitely something I would definitely put on the team. And with it being level 27, I don't need to grind. I don't feel like I'd need to grind it up that far. Well, actually, I wouldn't need to grind it up at all because it's the same level as the team. You know, the lowest member of my team, uh, Gunner, uh, Gunny, has, is level 27. So, yeah, this is pretty much team. It's a question of whether, I, uh, when and where I would like to evolve him, though, so I'm going to have to look at, again, I'm going to have to look at the docks and see when I should be evolving... Uh, mons and how to evolve new mons because it's going to be interesting to see all those things so yeah definitely need to do that one two three oh come on don't make me have to put you to sleep you can't paralyze me you can't put me to sleep i'm paralyzed i can only be one not the other I'm guessing that if we had, if I was playing Silver 97 Reforged, I'd be able to get Oddish here. I'm guessing that's how it work. You know, Gold and Silver were usually, you know, like uh, Oddish and uh, Bellsprout were uh, usually like uh, version exclusive Pokemon. So if you got one in one area, you get the other in the same area, just on the opposing game. And there is a silver 97 as well. 
Again, link to the description below are uh, both links to Gold 97 and Silver 97. It's which one is ever which one you ever want to play. But again, these are Crystal ROM hacks. So, you know, evolve from Crystal. Alright, we got ourselves a Weeping Bell. I really don't know what to call you. I've had a few ni I've had a few names for these things and I really don't know what to call them really that often. In the past I've had a few nicknames for these Pokemon, but I again don't really know what to call this thing. I'm gonna call you Sunny. Sunny. Let's heal up. And I'm going to have to uh, take a look at that, uh, just take a look at Sunny off screen in between episodes and see what I want to do with Sunny because I would like to bring him on the team, but again, we'll have to figure all that stuff out. Oh, there's. Okay, so there is gloom, uh, Oddish and Gloom here too. And that's Apom! There's little Hawker! That's Gen... That's Gold 97 Hawker! Uh, this is... Do I want to disturb the Snorlax? Uh, sure, why not? Maybe I'm going to regret this. But I'll give this a go. Peckers, you know what to do. You, you licked Peckers. I'm not okay with you licking peckers. Wow, that does nothing. He's gonna sleep on his terms. I'm not okay with him doing that either. I'm very much not okay with you going to sleep on your terms. You're gonna sleep on my terms. But I guess whilst I'm here, I'll. Um, I'll set up a reflect wall, and get, do a little, do a li do some damage with Steel Wing. I'll do some damage. Now you're awake, I can put you to sleep on my terms. My terms. You go to sleep on my terms, not yours. No, no, no you're already asleep. I don't need, I don't need to just make you sleep more. I need to make you sleep more, but I do need to put my wall back up and then go back to town with Steel Wing. Keep going, keep going to Steel Wing. And keep putting this Pokemon sleep and we'll be fine. Eventually we'll be fine enough to catch this thing, hopefully. I would not mind a Snorlax, I love Snorlax. I've used Snorlax several times and I... Ah, you're just under half HP! No belly drum for you! No belly drum for you! You're just under half HP! No belly drum for you! Okay, so you have belly drum, rest, amnesia... Do you actually have an attacking move that can kill me? And lick. Okay, lick is spe lick is physical, so you could do some damage, not a lot of damage, but some damage, uh, some kind of damage. 
you know, I was thinking like he would have a big move like body slam or something that uh, with belly drum that would body anyone that came into path with it. But with lick, not so much. One, two, lantern. No. Now, Snorlax, I know you're a new. I know you haven't joined the team yet. So you're just gonna go. We're gonna go for the system. No, 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 Snorlax. The system is here to help us. Okay. We'll do the system together. I'm gonna need Ultra Ball sometime soon. One. No, Snorlax. This is not the time for you to be messing up and not using the system. Get the ball. Oh no, come on. He went he woke up and rested. He went to sleep on his terms. No, no. He just did a... Oh, no. He just did a belly drum. He rested and then belly drummed. And I should have been paying a bit more attention. Reflect ball up before you wake up. I mean, I know you only have lick as your only uh, attacking move, but still. Right, that's all the damage I can do to you. One more steel wing will kill you. You, I have five great ball. I have four great balls and one poker ball. Please come with me. Come on, Snorlax. I wish I had Ultra Balls. This is the time where you need Ultra Balls. One, two, Lantern no. Snorlax! Oh no. Right, you can't belly drop. But you can go to sleep on my terms. Now I'll put my wall back up. I'm gonna run out of balls. Like, this is one of those things that I would love to catch. Come on, you'd be amazing. I would team you. One, two, three. There we go. Almost, almost get me out of all of my Pokeballs, but sure. Oh. This Pokemon. Snorlax, I, some, I hate you sometimes. I really do. But there is only one nickname for a Snorlax on Lantern Joe. And that is Snorfall. Now, if you want to know the origins of Snorfall, basically, when I was a kid, I was dumb. I had a nickname. I called my Snorlaxes Snor 1, Snor 2, Snor 3, and Snor 4. Snor 4 was my best one out of all of the Snorlaxes I had. Snow 4 was what was the best Snorlax back, uh, back from uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. I even had a, there was a Snow 5 as well, I will admit there was a Snow 5. Babe, and then I stopped doing that, there was no Snow 6. <laughs> I will tell you that right now, there was no Snow 6. 
Snorfs. I got a little bit smarter. But Snorf, but Snore 4 was the best one. And I will always call my Snorlaxes Snore 4 because of that uh, because of that one Pokemon during Pokemon Blue. I am that kind of person who calls his Snorlax and Snore 1, Snore 2, Snore 3, and Snore 4. Yeah, I'm that kind of dumb. What am I doing? I'm shaking the trees with headbutt. It's fun, you can do it too. Thank you, I will do that too. I will very much do that too. And what is this? TM21. What is that? Like, I've got a whole load of TMs today. Okay, so TM21 is Crosscutter. What the hell is Crosscutter? It has a high Chris. It has a high critical hit ratio. Okay. Can anyone learn Crosscutter? Bart can learn Crosscutter. But I'm only going to get Slash soon, so that's going to be a high critical hit ratio too. So yeah, I kind of want. I kind of feel like Slash is a bad move. Maybe, I don't know. But it's something I'm going to have to work on, man. I could have got a chorus. Curse straw. I mean, I kind of wanted. I wanted a grass type Pokemon. I will admit I wanted a grass type Pokemon. But I was. I've been kind of looking at curse straw too. And it's. And ghost type is really cool, and curse straw voodoo is amazing. Which is what I would have called you. I would have called you Voodoo. But I'm happy with Sunny. Don't get me wrong. Very happy with Sunny. Sunny does evolve into something that would be considered Gold 97. So, very much will take. Did you pursue me? Hey, mate. I'm working. I'm walking through this forest until I can see every Pokemon that lives here. Good for you, mate. I think we're going to have to end this uh, uh, this episode after this fight, though. Magnitude 6. Come on, bro. Come on, Bart. I mean, I guess that did do some. Oh. Bart. No! I was not at full health. I guess that means George gets to keep his spot on the team. Why do people seem to want to go boom? Bart was not at full HP and it had to happen. Bart was not at full HP and only you can only live a, live a full a self-destruct at full HP. It's the way of the world. Why? Well, on that note, I'm going to end off today's episode. Something had to die today. I just wish it wasn't Bart. That's all. I just wish it wasn't Bart. Because Bart has been amazing since I put him on the team. And I just wish it wasn't the way it is, but it is. Anyway, we're going to end off today's episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. F's in the chat for Bart. You didn't deserve this, but it is what it is. Till next time, I'm Lantern and Joe. Mean to let Pokemon get to Lazar. Uh, everybody get Pokemon. Good night.
thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time. <laughs>